I consider myself a hardest because I put the energy of my heart into everything I make. And so even something like this, and I don't know if you can see it. This is, I love this piece. It's got um, little pieces of turquoise. It's got, um, this is red tiger eye. And um, it's just a simple, beautiful, beautiful piece. And here, I'll put it on. I'll take off what I'm wearing, even though it doesn't match what I'm wearing. But when I made this, I just, I felt the stones and the design just came to me. And then when I put it on, I know how good it feels when I put it on. And so this is one of the pieces. Can you see it? I can't tell what you can see today because I'm, I'm doing it on the um, computer today. I was thinking of trying the computer because I was going to share my screen, but I, I haven't figured out how to do that in Facebook yet. But I do have one of the books that I use, which is called Healing Crystals and Gemstones from Amethyst to Zircon. And so I don't necessarily just go to this immediately, but if I'm drawn to a stone um, like carnelian, I love to use carnelian a lot, then I'll go look it up and just check out, you know, what it says about carnelian, if, it, if it's in here, let's see. Uh, ta, 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 ta. So let's type carnelian. So for carnelian, it is a member of the quartz family. It's one of the oldest gemstones and protective stones in history. Its name is derived from the Latin cornelios, meaning cherry, and the Egyptians carried it around in their person as a source of energy and the constant renewal of vitality. So, and they, they do have some healing properties. Carnelian's great for good digestion. So I'm very drawn to the stone carnelian and I always have digestive issues. So sometimes if you're drawn to a color or drawn to a stone, it's because that's the energe energetics that you need in your body. So that um, I thought was a really um, good way to put my love of stones and my heart and my love of designing together. So just to give you a few examples over the years, I've been called upon, um, somebody was having trouble with fertility and she reached out to me. And I don't claim that this is gonna work, but I did make her this beautiful moonstone uh, bracelet and as I was making it, of course, I was doing affirmations and setting intentions and just sending her love and anything I could. And several months later, I did uh, hear that um, she got pregnant and she has stayed in touch with me ever since then. She's had another child since then. Now, I'm not saying that I had anything to do with this at all, but what I did was, you know, help her possibly and put my love and energy out into the intention that was so important to her. So just a quick um, give you, giving you just a little bit of what I love about this work I do. I tend to be drawn a lot toward blue all the time, just blues, every shade of blue. And you can see what I'm wearing today. And that is um, focusing, this color is focusing on the throat chakra. And this is kind of an interesting story, but you know how they have those chakra balancing tests? For years, I would take those tests. And um, the same chakra always came out as needing support, needing help, and that was my throat chakra. And I thought that was really interesting because I was a school teacher, I was a yoga teacher, I was a mother, and so I was always trying to speak my truth from my throat, but I realized that two things were happening. Number one, I was feeling like I wasn't being heard. And secondly, I was struggling with how to make my message, you know, be both true to myself and not hurtful to others. And so it was really a struggle for me. Ironically, 
I have Hashimoto's, which is a thyroid disease. I tended to have many of the things go wrong in my body. One of the places they went wrong was my throat area. But I've really worked a lot on um, improving um, my relationship to my throat chakra through support. And I still continuously wear blue all the time. I'm still attracted to blue as if energetically I'm still um, supporting the throat chakra. So if you're drawn to colors, and because I'm a yoga teacher and I've spent a lot of time studying the chakras and studying energy, that that's one of the neat things I can do with you when I'm designing you a piece of jewelry is we can discuss what are your needs and I can design a piece of jewelry that not only looks beautiful and feels great, but is energetically supportive to whatever you need in wellness.